Hey guys, hope you're all doing good and welcome to a new video. So today we are going to be talking about the architecture of a racing suspension system and I have a simple example here. These right here are two separate architectures. So for example, you can see that uh, you still have the same components. You have the upper and lower uh, wishbones. You have the push rod. You have the spring damper system which is connected to a rocker or a bell crank. You can see that I have an image that actually shows the results from an external flow simulation. So one thing that you want to make sure is that when the air actually comes from your front wing, it needs to be as clean as possible. What do I mean by clean? Well, if air is basically interacting with additional components, then it tends to become turbulent, which is also called as the disturbed air. Disturbed air is going to be bad for downforce. So what you need to do is make sure that your suspension systems, A, withstand the really high downforces that are typical in a Formula 1 racing application. And on top of that, they also need to make sure that they provide a proper or a clean path for the air stream to navigate from the front to the back side of the car. So with that, I would like to conclude this video. Bye.